Since coming into office less than two years ago, the government of St. Lucia, under Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre's stewardship, continues to live up to its people-first mantra and has successfully delivered relief to both private and public sector workers in addition to initiating strategic policy measures that shield St. Lucian consumers from the brunt of historically high inflation and places more money back in their pocketbooks. As promised by the Prime Minister, on March 23, 2023, $11.5 million in outstanding back pay was disbursed to public servants. We pay civil servants $11.7 million worth of back pay. On Thursday, civil servants are going to receive $11.7 million in back pay and their pay increase, which was negotiated by the last government, but we are doing it. So, for tomorrow, all the provisions in the last collective agreement, which is not negotiated by us, negotiated by the last government, but we're going to keep the promises of the last government. So, to um, civil servants, all our obligations to them, as far as the last collective agreement, are going to be met. Going to end tomorrow with $11.7 million back pay being paid to them in their salaries on Thursday. Owing to the Prime Minister and Finance Minister's prudentially sound fiscal management abilities, the multi-million dollar government payday was disbursed amidst unfavorable economic headwinds in the external economy. To date, Prime Minister Pierre, with the backing of the Cabinet of Ministers, have signed off on various policy interventions that have directly benefited St. Lucians. More than 4,100 St. Lucians have been paid outstanding tax refunds in the last 12 months. Last December, active and non-active public servants collectively received $6.8 million in back pay from the government. The government paid $4.4 million to about 47 former employees of Liat 1974 Limited. 196 former employees of Majestic Industries Limited each received a $10,000 one-time payment. And more than $2.5 million was allocated to the stimulus program. NIC pensioners currently receive an additional 4.2% on their monthly payments, while government pensioners received a one-off payment of $500 each last year. Effective January 1st, 2023, both public and private sector workers earning up to $25,000 annually will not pay any income tax. Between 10 to 14,000 workers will benefit from this new tax exemption, which amounts to an additional 12 to 14 million dollars of more disposable income for these workers. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.